with me. Today, I think we're gonna fi finish off Mass Effect. This may, this may possibly be false advertising. One second, I need to move myself back over. I'm not in my right spot. I made room for Isaac. There we go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All right, the Elgato was muted. Uh, we're gonna turn that down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, because I, I meant to do, hmm, I want to do the extra Citadel stuff, like the party stuff. So we're going to blow through all that and try to finish Mass Effect 3 today, because I think we can do it. I think it's possible, folks. And I, because I would like to get this off my plate. Because we're coming to the end of things. Um, we had Danganronpa's done. I'm going to be replacing that with another visual novel. Wait, this is not the right character. Oh, this is my... This is the wrong account. Or not the wrong account, but the wrong person. This is my... Uh, whatever. My super hard mode. Insanity. That's what it's called. This is my insanity... Uh, File. So let's move over to Sheev. There he is. This motherfucker. Sheev. Let's finish you off, buddy. Let's let's do these party supplies. Um we're gonna blow through this. And we're gonna try and finish today because the final stretch I think is not very long. Um, if I remember correctly, I might be super wrong and either we'll be here for like six hours or um, I'll quit early and this will be a lie and it will not be the real finale. So get ready for either of those options. It's in it's entirely possible that one of those two things will happen. But I'm just going to try and move it if I can figure out how to get out of this damn house. It says I have new messages, but what new messages? Hi, Glyph. If you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do. Oh, sorry. I'm doing echo. I'm getting echo because I didn't mute my computer audio. Sorry, sorry. I'm all over the place today. A little scooted over. It's Nudge myself over there. There we go. That's better. Ah ha 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 Okay. Oh, she doesn't want to say anything. Well, fine. Um. Oh, yeah, you can customize your apartment. Something that I don't give a crap about. You can buy all this garbage. Um. But there's some cool stuff here. There's a little arcade where you can fight fake dudes and get points. Um, I might do one round of that, but I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I do kind of want to get this. Ah, here we go. Yeah, Arya is at the top. Bar Levon is second. Way to go. Ray, Bailey, Herc. Huh. Well, anyway, point is, this is the uh, the combat simulator. This is a cool little thing that they added in. I don't think I'm gonna do one because it's it's just a thing. It's just in a, like a little horde mode you can do, like fight some waves of guys, win things, win money or tickets to exchange for things. Hello, Commander Shepard. Welcome to the Armax Arsenal Arena. Armax Arsenal and the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board have registered you for a complimentary competitor's pass. You may start a match by going downstairs and selecting simulator options. When you are ready, enter the locker room. Yeah, and it's a neat little thing. Um, heck, we might go through one. Why not? Yeah, you get upgrades, make it harder. Yeah, you can buy, yeah, you can get little licenses to bring in people. Um, 
do different things. Yeah, make things more challenging. It's kind of neat. Um, it's okay. I, I don't think I'm going to bother with it, though, because I don't want to take up any more time because I want to get this. I want to try and get this done today. Dang it. Can't go in here because this is the locker room. But the, I don't think there's anything connected to it. It's just uh, it's just a little thing you can do. But it's cool. It's nice that they added something to do into here. But the reason I'm uh I'm rushing this along is that the next mission we go on is like the point of no return mission, where you can't do anything after after you get to it but once we start that once we finish the party and start that it's a straight shot to the end but i do want to make sure there's nothing else here yeah i really hope uh, well i'm so excited for the ending oh my god um where am i there's nothing here eight that's where i'm going going to eight so I can buy freaking party supplies. Because this little party thing is pretty cute. You get all your dudes. I wanted to wait until, like, right at the end here. Hmm, let's find that bar. I think maybe it's up here. Not sure, though. I'm not sure where things are in this place. But it's a cool little environment you can walk around. Is this where I buy the things? I could do my little shepherd shuffle just for fun. Look how cool I am! I do a little dance! Anyway, <laughs> party supplies for a hundred credits. Oh no, I can't stop mingling. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was scared that was just going to be there forever. But yeah, the only real thing to do here is... Ugh, excuse me, I, you can still gamble like uh, like you could at the thing, obviously. I don't care to. But the real deal, the real thing you want to do is the party. Where, where is the party, actually? Is six? No, that's the arcade. Let's go here, because Zaid is here, and we're going to see what... I forget what this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, like, little things. You could do little. <laughs> what is it again? Yeah, you you do punches. This is these are fun. These are little. Nice punch. Don't stop now. Yeah, see? You do a little thing. I don't want to do it anymore, though. Let, how, how, how do I make it kill me? I guess I just have to wait. Do I don't want to. I want to be done. I just wanted to show it off. To show that you can do little mini-games. It's fun that they added stuff like this. Like, this, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff you can do in these in this little place. That's a new high score. Yeah, sure, whatever. Um, yeah, you can do a little fence game. It's cute. I just wanted to show you guys before we leave this place forever. Um, oh, hi, Zaid. He's oh no, he can't get the thingies. 
mind, you bastard. God damn it. <laughs> Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. <laughs> what are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looks simple enough. God damn it. <laughs> he hates it. Kid. What do I care? <laughs> Shepard. You sure you're not done? Go do. What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kids game? <laughs> yes! I really want one of those plushy toys. God damn right I do. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. Submit to me. Submit to my will. Please. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Ah, oh, that's bullshit. This is crap. It's obviously rigged somehow. Obviously. Rigged. I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. <laughs> I'm going back in. Credits. You could do it, Zaid. Come on. All right. Yes. Here you go, sweetheart. <laughs> He doesn't even care. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? But this time, you play with your own damn credit. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. This is amazing. Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. I think I knew that about you. <laughs> this rules. Let's do it. Let's do it. What Bring will you do? Win. You could win. I don't even know what it's for. Oh, I got Oh, you get like stuff. Oh, they're talking about the simulations. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's fucking Steve Bloom. Yeah, there's lots of, lots of cute stuff in here. Um, anyway, we've, 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 we've piddled around enough. It's time for the party and then we'll get, we'll get to the, the meat and potatoes of the finale. We're gonna have our one last nice little time. And then we'll, you know, enjoy the amazing ending of this game. The end, the end of this, the great trilogy. Ooh, excuse me. It's great trilogy that everyone loves. That everyone excited for with possibly the most goodwill of any franchise in the history of anything I'm sure the ending couldn't possibly sour the entire series for like 10 years there's no way I guess I've got some got the email Yeah, everyone wants to go to my fucking apartment. And then they want to... This is the arena. They give you a little ad for it. Wait, what is your assistance? Oh no, they fucking messed it all up. Where is your assistance? I didn't actually read that. Your assistance. Outside the casino at the far end with these primitives called the Silver Sun Strip. 
Okay. Well, I guess we'll go say hi to Javik, actually. Since he's actually got something to say. This is going to end up taking longer than I meant it to. Oh, boy. I just get so wrapped up in it, you know? This is a fun, this is a fun video game, and I like all the characters. I want to see more of things with them. Three. He's over at three. Okay, Javik. And trainers around two. Garrus. God damn it. They all have things to do. God damn it. They're sucking me in. Again. It always happens like this. You think, oh, I'm sick of Mass Effect. I don't want to think about it anymore. And then the characters are there, and you're like, oh, but I like them. I like all of them, and I want to see them more. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? He hates I it. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Commander Shepard, I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Uh huh. The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Oh, okay. right, oh. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. <laughs> and action. Commander Shepard. Thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. <laughs> but there is hope. The council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. A refrigerator? <laughs> yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Road. Wah, wah. Ah, you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. <laughs> Vorcha Counselor. The purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Protean Elder, what wisdom of the ages? <laughs> what is this? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. <laughs> I love you, Javik. Did someone say Prothean? Oh fuck, it's this Blasto! This one has enkindled multiple females across Oh my god, we're in a Blasto movie! Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! If only This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually, that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. <laughs> yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. <laughs> oh no, and just one Hanar! To assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Oh no, it's getting meta. But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. Think of the children. Think of the children, Blasto! We're nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Rothian, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome. Undetermined? <laughs> but I'm already a Spectre! I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. Cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sombra's half-brother sluggard! Oh no! That's a really good miniature. Your line. Say your line. 
You die now. Way to go, buddy. No, the Vulture Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. Yeah. This one doesn't care. Yeah, I'm this mad about it. He was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? <laughs> I got too into it. Hellcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. That's great. Oh my god. I was in a Blasto movie. Okay, so... I think I mentioned Blasto before, but Blasto is like a reoccurring action movie series in universe where obviously he's a Hanar Spectre who goes around shooting people up and in here there's an ad I think we listened to a couple of them where he like ha has a partner he has an Elcor partner like this one prefers to work alone <laughs> with barely restrained malice uh I wish to kill all of the bad guys like it's great and there are blasto comics that you could read like real graphic novels that they made it's very raw Oh no, she sent him to the Shadow Realm. Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this Space Chess? Space Chess? Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have made it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. It's I'm okay, ready. Mary Sue. You'll be free to join your friend in twenty moves or fewer. <laughs> Trainer, oh, would you no! like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. What is happening? Gara to Susa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Fuck it. Specialist. Commander. Kick her ass. Yeah, kick her ass. This is amazing. God, this really is the best DLC. God, I thought I'd just be onto the party by now, but holy shit. This rocks. Oh, damn it. Ah! So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Come on, trainer, you could do it. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I don't know. Have you tr She's actually, like, winning the war? I think you're just sitting in your apartment, lady. So job is playing games mentoring students <laughs> your job <laughs> you sound like you play video games Fuck. we're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts i'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman but she just lost her <laughs> on the youtube ah. traded her last frigate actually for your homeworld Yeah, look at this. Look at space chess. Yeah, she blew it up. Yeah. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing lunch. It's okay, Mary Sue. Carry on. She's like the most actual Mary Sue character. 
she's like the so because the original mary sue was a a star trek self-insert where the gal made character her name mary sue go on the the enterprise i can't remember if it was original series or um original series or the next generation but she's literally is she's on the enterprise and all the characters she's like oh yeah she's the best she basically is wesley we're all where she's super smart and everyone asks her for advice and they all like her and Riker wants to kiss her but she's like no at least if i'm remembering correctly but the point is it's a star trek thing a star trek thing you know everyone loves uh, Star Trek. That's right, Jay! Star Trek! You know about the card? But that's like literally what Trainer is. And it's kind of funny but that was the most charming thing that she's ever done was that little tournament thing especially with the little zoom in on the eyes i don't know i, I say i want to say it's a samurai jack zoom in but obviously it's not that it's like a western thing but in my brain i most associate it with samurai jack because i'm stupid but also samurai jack is amazing Look, there's a lady. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. <laughs> Shut up, you know Garrus. That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop. Oh, I love <laughs> looking at him. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. Oh, he King. Hello. Shepard, you're the best. So, um. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's trying. Oh, Garrus. Tell her she looks nice. Tell her she looks nice, dummy. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little. Garrus, please! But decent. Overall. Although I guess I don't know Thank how Turians I think try think come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, <laughs> I do. I work at the Turian embassy. Come here to unwind. Oh, Garrus. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do and I should probably just go do it. Oh, I can't interrupt. I thought that I would have an interrupt. Yeah. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. Yeah, I helped him out. Garrus, I love you. <laughs> Poor guy, he's doing his best. Okay, well, now I think I have to go back again. And then I can get more interactions. But holy crap, man. This whole Citadel DLC is literally... Oh, wait. Where? I can't leave. At least not that way. I thought that was the way to... Oh, this is the way to leave. Whoopsies. Yeah, basically this whole DLC is like, we're we're sorry, we could have made this game good, but they didn't let us. Bioware, the, the EA, the EA literally said, don't make the game good, make it bad instead. And we really didn't have any choice, but we promised we could have made it good. Because this succeeds in like all of the best ways that Mass Effect succeeds, except for you know, heady sci-fi stuff that it has in the first game. But even it has some of that. It's like, hey, did you know Hanars can't get drunk because of the dehydration would kill them? 
and that would be really bad. So actually, they eat these uh, little fish, toxic fish things. That's pretty cool, right? And I'm like, yeah, that is pretty cool. Makes it really, really causes you to think. Certainly causes one to ponder. So I have something from Liara, something from Edie, and something from Ashley. And now I have to go and leave again. <laughs> and I have to go out. I guess I could have done this DLC sooner, you know? Um... But it's best to do it later because you can have everyone here to do things. Once you have all your party members and all of your everyone else's quests done. Okay, I gotta go see Ashley. I wonder how I can invite other people. Because obviously I, I invited, or I, I can go see them out here, but I don't know how to invite them so to my... to my apartment but I don't know I don't know maybe we'll figure that out maybe we won't maybe it'll be a <laughs> a nightmare that we can't wake up from ah oh wait for Ashley here we go I'm looking for a lieutenant Williams thanks there you are. Ready to see who's the real Spectre and who's the Pretender? Hey, you talking to me? Pretender, huh? Which one of us is still wearing training wheels? Laugh it up, Commander. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, let's go, motherfucker. I take a shot, you take a shot. Hesitate, game over. <laughs> this shouldn't take too long. Uh-huh. Glamorous and beautiful Superstar Spectre agent first. No, I'll just go for oh. Obviously you are talking about to me. I'll try and go easy on you so you don't break a nail, princess. Yeah. Did not just say that. Yeah, sure I'm did. the best. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. Yeah, press the button. With a few drinks, Williams. Very messy. Yeah, you were you were passed out on the floor earlier. I remember it. Ancient history. I'm gonna keep pressing the button. Fuck you. I'm saving my best moves for later. Best moves. At least if you're drunk, you have an excuse for how you dance. Shut up! I dance great. Everyone loves the Spectre Shuffle, the Shepherd Shuffle. Fuck. <laughs> Keep it coming, Lieutenant. I can do this all night. Yeah, Bioware drinking animation. Shake your head. This was a good idea. Yeah, it was. You ready for round two? Yeah, we're friendly. We're playing around, but we're friendly. Hey, my friend doesn't like alliance types. But he oh, it's Star you. Wars. I don't like alliance type C. Yeah, I remember Star. Do you remember Star Wars? I remember Star Wars. Rain check? Yeah. Yeah, Star Wars. Good shit. That was actually raw. <laughs> I don't like you either. That was actually cute. Everything, it's so charming. Why is it so charming? You'd think, based on the way Mass Effect 3 is, that they couldn't make a good video game. But it's it's incredible how much corporate meddling literally ruined this game. It was it was literally all of the things that people hate caused this game to be bad. The microtransactions, the bullshit like 
um, whatever it's called, like multimedia stuff. I'm gonna buy some things. I don't even care. Vibrant kitchen. Uh, big sofa. Uh, recliner. Artistic shelving. Amber X. Whatever. Fuck it. I have money. I could do whatever I want. Man, I really am uh, gonna spend like two hours here. <laughs> and, and the ending is gonna take longer than I think it will. No, don't tell me I have new messages. Don't tell me that. I, I need to try and try and move along. Who the hell else wants to talk to me? Uh, I have my invite up uh, stuff. Oh, Creos. It's a uh, uh, Quentin Flynn. Hmm. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to try and do that. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Cole, yeah. We'll do this thing. We'll do this thing first and get the sappy business out of the way because I love Thane and I'm going to read Catholic prayers to him or something. I don't know. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms and others as a father devoted to his son. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. He ran torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the result of that day. He also was biotic, and I could use him to do biotic explosions, so he had a, a, he got a lot of use on the team. Would anyone else like to speak? There we are. Even Coming for to carry me It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. Ah, uh, see, that's they appropriate for her, because she cares heroes. about family. That is why I am here. These are really good character Thane took moments. Seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. Mm. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Hmm. Colyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all. Yeah, Quentin out. Flynn. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, 
I think maybe he did have it all figured out. Yeah. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. That's just Quentin Flynn's real voice. He doesn't even need the it's modulator. To clear up. <laughs> Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I did what I could. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was. Good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. Yeah, I, I'm I'm in there with you, bud. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. Yeah, baby. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorant has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. <laughs> Before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Dude, it's so good. I love him. Yeah, let's check our mess. Let's go look at them. Let's go look at Thane and cry. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time, but in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. No, Thane, you're the best. Shepard, he's so based. <laughs> I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. I'm going soft. I'm paying taxes and shit. He's significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. Hmm. Tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. <laughs> if it works, I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Shrill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, <laughs> we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico. And a scorpion eating a cricket. <laughs> I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had. I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital, but it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. All right. Bye, Thane. I love you. I cry. 
Zane. He's so good. God, I'll never forgive EA for fucking up this video game. Nothing else. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Now I can invite people up. Edie, get over here. Let's have our talk. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shop? <laughs> I guess we could. Did you have hmm. those in mind? Even AI women be shopping. is unnecessary. The extranet provides a great <laughs> services while retaining entertainment value. You can't say that on TV. That I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. <laughs> you don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime. But <laughs> Ooh, I love criminal <laughs> activities. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Pacific. Yeah, buy him a car. The 2187 blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty. Replacement parts. No, wait. Wait a minute. See what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent it. I <laughs> Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Okay, fine. <laughs> Edie, what is that? Are we getting married? No. <laughs> there is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the ring stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay. This sounds this sounds almost as rare as you. That sounds weirdly flirty. But I don't want to be mean. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about either of these. We're gonna, we're gonna be safe. That's thoughtful, lady. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. Ah, oh, that's cute. Is inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. Yeah, okay, that that turned out good. That turned out safe. This was that was the good one. I was worried. Yeah, Edie be shopping. Look, I love all these cute little interactions. God, I wish the rest of the game was this good. This is fucked up. Because I get nostalgic for the Mass Effect 3 that never was. Already. But boy, does this hammer at home. Hey, loco. What's up, motherfucker? Nice place. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. No. <laughs> nice view. But this place is just so not what I'm used to. Which is I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so you know, water, sand, real air. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, is it true you and Tally are, uh, you know, together? Yeah. Why? How do you two... I mean, it, 
Is she <laughs> Shut up, James. Under that suit. Do this is really funny though. That, that, that you get uh, dialogue about this. Never mind. I don't really want to know. Yeah, no, you so don't, you motherfucker. Really here to talk about my personal life. <laughs> shit, right? I wanted to show you. I love you, Big McLarge, huge. Yeah, king shit. What do you think? I I think you're the best king. I think you're a fucking bloat max mega chad. Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard that was a, that said, took a little longer. I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. I don't know what that means. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by. I know lo siento means I'm sorry, but I don't know if that's the same word or not. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. I don't know enough I Spanish. I, I know like a little Spanish, but not enough to know what that means. What the hell? No way. James, get out of my house. <laughs> James, you said you were leaving. You've been holding out on me. <laughs> yeah, okay, have fun. Let's punch the thing. Oh, this is sweet. <clears throat> Ooh, woo, pull up, pull ups. Pull ups are hard. I don't know if you know this. <clears throat> yeah, Look let's go. You. you know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Yes. Oh, this should be good. There's no way. <clears throat> Let's go. We could do it. How long are we going to do this? Keep it up, amigo. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can do it, James. I'm the best. really funny that you have to do interrupts to do this this dlc is amazing how many is this like fucking 15 around there is it just gonna keep going until i don't do this anymore nice form motherfucker <laughs> There's there's no way this just keeps going until you get to 182, right? It's gonna give out eventually and be like you did it or you didn't do it or something Oh, that's a different angle. That's 20. That's 20 22 there's no fucking way there's no way we're gonna sit because if it's 182 i'm gonna sit here you don't know how stupid i am you don't know how incapable of giving up contrarian i am we will sit here until 182. not bad no oh, i almost clicked the wrong one i was almost real stupid but instead, I'll be real stupid in an entirely different way. I'll use my my horrible monster face powers. You'd never suspect that Palpatine was buff, motherfucker. You go, Commander. <laughs> He's mocking me, motherfucker. Oh, that was a noise. That was a big harumph. I like the big, the stupidest grin. Forty, nice. Urgh, different angles. Forty-three. We could do this. He's gonna hurt his back. I don't know. I guess that's just the way that that he's doing it. 
I have no idea. But if I can sit here until 182, I'm totally doing this. And you're gonna have to, you just have to watch me do it. And that's gonna be the content. It's good content. I'm a motherfucking shepherd. I do what I want. I guess this is the only way they could fucking code in a mechanic to do this. Like, this would have been an actual mini game in another game. But the best they've got, because this game is held together with. with. T toothpicks and glue is for it to be interrupts. That's 60. High five. Funny. Yeah, real funny, motherfucker. I'm surprised there's dialogue this far, honestly. Also, I'm in a leather jacket and jeans. This is a lot of extra weight I'm carrying. At least, like, five pounds. Maybe more. There's no reason for this. This is absolutely insane. This is good con- th This is what good content is though, right? This is what everyone wants to see, is me hitting right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger. For, <laughs> for 15 minutes! Will I, will I beat this fake man's pull up record? God, I'm gonna I'm gonna lean over to get a drink or something and I'm gonna fail to do this Good stuff, Hefe. Hefe, shut up. Oh, oh, I looked over to read what she said and I almost fucked it up I literally can't believe that there's like That I can do this. I would have thought that it would have been like renegade like if you have max renegade you can choose a dialogue option that says beat his record <clears throat> or if you have max paragon you can have you can like weasel out of it or something i don't even know i don't know what i expected i certainly didn't expect this this is this is the best this is the best in any mass effect oh yeah he's just fucking punching the bag I wonder how many people do this. I wonder how many people just get tired and they're like, fuck this. This is stupid. Yeah, Shepard's got plenty of time. He can he can do this dumb push-up contest. It's not like, you know, the zombies are breaking around the breaking down the door. Yeah, no one's no one we're the bravest channel on Twitch. The that's theme of this channel is moment. is bravery. Great. What that's 91? We're halfway, guys. Oh shit. I need to lean forward because my my mic is blocking the right trigger symbol. What is Centaur War? What is that? You've officially lost me. That's impressive. Thanks. Yeah, we're over. We're Just over a hundred. Oh, I almost didn't hit that, but I did it. Oh, cool. Bam, bomb, bam, bomb. I think these are coming faster now. At the very least. Well, I'll have to check it out. What What is it about? Is it like an anime or is it a... A regular cartoon? Because they're very different. Because one is for... For normal weirdos and one is for weirdo weirdos. I'll let you decide which is which. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, sure buddy. I guess I should I could just press the buttons 
like super like both buttons every time and just be like <laughs> all right i'll i'll look on your blog then and look at it no one can stop me not even me b being bored my contrarianism is over it like almost always overpowers my boredom it's why I'm playing an insanity playthrough of this game at all in the first place. Because I'm stupid. Yeah, let your thoughts congeal a little bit. Um, I've been thinking about it, and I really did like Danganronpa 2. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of lame that it's like, oh, it's Junko again. Danganronpa 2 is a sequel in the very classic, like, movie sense it's like it's the same but more or the same but different like it's a it's a it's a it's just like a movie sequel which um which i think works for it because danganronpa one in many ways feels like wait what is like i don't know it was a little fleshed out more. It wasn't as fleshed out as I wanted. Yeah, it was really funny when Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, it was the whole time. I as much as because I'm a stickler. I like sci fi stuff. Like, I, and I like sci-fi because sci-fi will sit there and it will explain to you exactly what the nature of the world is and how things are and what things caused what other things. Um, because I, I, I just like to know all that stuff. But Danganronpa doesn't really do that and you just need to be okay with that. And I'm not okay with that. <laughs> let's just let's just be clear um i'm not okay with that i like the fact that it's still like yeah the, a thing just happened junko um you know she just caused people to be crazy but i do like that they demonstrated it a little bit because she she brings despair to your characters like your characters are like yeah we're gonna do this thing, but she manages to convince them out of it and make them do nothing instead of doing anything, which is what despair does. And so as much as I wish there was more to it than the the worst, most awful, most tragic event in human history. So close. As much as I wish there was more to it than that, I uh I like that they demonstrated a little bit. Yeah, it was cool. It was how the the way that she broke your broke the characters down and and you could actually see the way that she operates rather than just having to take her word for it. I thought that was really cool. And I didn't appreciate it as much as the time because I'm like, "Fuck, I wanted to know what the thing was." And while I still want to know what the thing was, um, all of the parts of it are great. There's no part in Danganronpa 2 that falls flat. In Danganronpa 1, it's like, okay, eh, whatever. This is fine. <laughs> well, I'm very excited for the sequel. We'll see how that fucking goes. Because Danganronpa 2 wraps everything up. Yeah, come on! Ugh, I fucking did it. Holy hell, you did it. I'm Commander Shepard, motherfucker. How you feeling? I'm an old man, and that's gonna hurt. <laughs> No doubt, but you earned your name today, Loco. Yeah, I fucking did it. Don't let anybody tell you different. 
Don't worry. I won't. Don't worry. I won't. Yay, I did it! <laughs> I don't need any more acknowledgement than that. I did it. I beat your fucking record, idiot. <laughs> yeah, Sheev Palpatine's ultimate force power. Punch you in the fucking face. <laughs> oh, that was kind of awesome. And we got to talk a little bit. We got to talk a little bit about Danganronpa 2. Which, uh, yeah, I ended up really liking that game. And you kind of don't need a 3. I think going into 3, um, dr 3s Oh, well, cool. I'll be excited to hear to about that. We'll see how that pans out. But, um, yeah, Danganronpa 3, from someone who just finished 2, feels like it doesn't need to exist. Like, Danganronpa 1 felt like it needed a sequel to tighten up plot stuff, to get everything together. It felt like it needed a little more, you know... Uh, just a little more fleshing out, a little more, you know, time in the oven. And the sequel did that perfectly. It it turned the characters up to up to 11 um in a lot of good ways, a lot of ways that I got very tired of, but you know what, whatever. Um it wasn't like in Dinkerapa 1 where I'm like I like maybe these few characters and the rest can or sort of take them or leave them. And none of them, no, no, none of the characters really grow in Danganronpa 1. But all of the characters in Danganronpa 2 grow. And they grow very significantly. And you couldn't get to the end of the story without their growth. Um, which is very cool. The game's ending would work if the cases are incredibly good and engaging, and they're not. Huh. I, I see what you mean. I've... I've, you know, I've played games like that. I've seen movies and watched shows like that. That's like, you didn't earn this ending. Like, I get what you're going for, but the fact that you brought me on this journey and I, I just, I, I didn't buy it. It makes that kind of thing fall flat. So I know the kind of thing that you're talking about. Um, but like I said, I revert, I re I'll reserve judgment until I actually get it. I don't want you to think that I that you're biasing me against it or for it because of, you know, like I said, I'm contrarian. I love to like things that people don't like and hate pe things that people do like. Um, I just pressed left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger 183 times to beat <laughs> an imaginary human being's pull-up record. <laughs> Joke's on you, I was on- Oh no! It was all a dream? Yeah, and I can like things that people like when I feel like it. And that is sometimes the most contrarian thing you can do, is like something that people like. Shockingly enough. <laughs> I don't know how that happens, but it fucking does. Um... But yeah, I'm glad we got to talk about Danganronpa 2 and I got a little more of my thoughts out on it because I did want to talk about that. Um, but yeah, I... I'm interested to see what their conceit for having a Danganronpa 3 is. Because Danganronpa 2... Wrapping up the way it did and being like, yeah, you you guys are the bad guys. And we brought you in here for... Because you can kind of... I don't know. I don't want to say I predicted it. But I'm like, yeah, there's something more going on with the characters. They're obviously in a simulation, but we don't know why. And obviously, Monokuma and Monami are not working together. Um, and there's more going on. And Danganronpa 2's ending is like, yeah, we don't need a sequel for that. Which I really liked that it was just like, yeah, we're wrapping it up. We're going to make our own future. And I liked that the... The ending of Danganronpa 2 is is meta because he's like, yeah, I'm not going to be a visual novel character. I'm not going to play by these rules. I'm not going to. It, it's it's self-actualization. You the, the world is not a binary between hope and despair. The world is not 
a thing where you go in and you pick a dialogue option, right? It's not, I'm going to pick the good thing or I'm going to pick the bad thing. It's you have to be your own person regardless of whatever talents you don't or don't have. Because that's the implicit message of Danganronpa 1 that I think that they that he told on accident because um you know Makoto um Makoto is a character who's he's your basic ass protagonist um and he doesn't have much going on for him and I really like I just really liked Kamida as a metaphor for that about like how that kind of person become is it's impossible for that kind of person to become self-actualized because they're trapped in this dichotomy um yeah hajime is just a chat he's like yeah i'm not gonna accept this i don't have to live this way i'm not gonna play your game because that's how you beat despair it's not by by directly countering it because human life is about struggle it's about beating a struggle and then coming up against the next one because there will always be a next struggle and if you view encountering another struggle as failure which is the hope despair dichotomy it will always come out like that you will you will eventually fall to despair and be like wow there's no point because I'm never, I'm never just gonna win. I'm never done. There's always something else. But if you don't play by those rules, you can be, you can live in a way that's not gonna depress you because you're not viewing it as hope is success and despair is failure. You're trusting the process. You're trusting in life itself, and you are believing in yourself to the point where you can make it out of that that mindset that imprisons you um i don't actually I, I i used to i used to know all the roman numerals but i i get confused nowadays i generally remember how to you know it's um the biggest numbers go on the left until it's the thing below the biggest number and then the biggest number goes, so like 9 is 1x, but 10 is x, and xi is 11. Like, I know, I know, I know how to decipher them. I just forget some of the symbols like L and M. I forget what those mean. Oh no, are they wrong? Are we going to run into another octagon situation where it's like, no, that, that that's wrong. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get mad. But yeah, the octagon thing was the only truly, truly frustrating. At least the octagon was like, okay, I kind of get it, even though in actuality it makes no sense. Um, when you th when you know you're me and you care about the definitions of things, yeah, it was just a bad twist in the case. Like, okay, but if you're saying there's something more to this this thing oh boy anyway we need to get through this so that i can beat this game um let's fucking do it that's enough talking about about visual novel Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Mm. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. Yeah, we have to do visual novel stuff in this game now. A commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? They want you to pick her so bad. My first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped in. Unfortunately, I have a galaxy brain. I'm above such things. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. 
She taught me to play this song while we waited. Huh. Well, it's nice. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget. There are things you learn. Ba -da -da. Just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose how to get myself into life threatening situations on a daily basis. I yeah. am a teacher. <laughs> I'm pretty good at being a badass. I burn, have burn, burn, burn. I have reports to look over. Oh, come on. Chill out. Right. But first. Why don't you teach me that song? Yeah, you're definitely supposed to go up behind her and put your on. They want her to pick. Oh, they want you to pick her so bad. It's ridiculous. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your report so that you might work here? Yes. Thank you, Glyph. Glyph. Can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. All right, bye. Whatever, lady. All right, next we'll do Miranda and we'll save uh, Tally for last. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. Yeah, this is like this it. is the actual beach episode. Instead I'll of the beach episode we thought we were getting sure. I've got and then the action you. movie happened. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Uh-huh, she Never said that. Much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, clearly you did. Really? A clone? I'm glad that you said your last line again before you. we had that little talk so that these dialogue options could make sense. Thank you, Miranda. That's very considerate of you, actually. Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. <laughs> They shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. <laughs> mm, I don't know how that happened. I, didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? <laughs> well, to be fair, they shot it a bunch. Explode. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Cause you kill your fish. Twice. Fuck. All that running, jumping. God damn it. It's crazy. Yeah, it is a little crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> Trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real shepherd? And it's when you kiss. You just do. This is when you kiss if you do love I? her. If you're a fucking loser and you sure. romance Miranda. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, 
I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. <laughs> See, once again, that's probably the most likable Miranda's ever been in this little episode here. <laughs> I don't know how they managed that. They managed to... Oh, oh, I'm in... The... Oh, this is the real life. I thought I was still in the cutscene dimension. I thought it was like a loading screen, but we're good. We're good to go. All right, now for the fucking main event. And not... I'm, I do not mean the actual party. I mean talking to Tally. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Lucy. Lucy, why are you and down Saffron. here? From Fleet and Flotilla, July oh. and Bellicus on the balcony. I dog. Seen that. There's a dog in real life. What? He's you trying to get me. How could you One second. That? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. Okay, I'm gonna have to take her out after this. After this, I'm gonna have to put her... Put her outside. I'm home alone today, so someone's got to do it. Oh, she was quoting this movie. That's funny. You watch this a lot with the lovers from two different worlds. Ah. Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. Yeah, musical. Oh, she's actually good. You can you can hear her vibrato through the filter. <laughs> That's cute. Ah. I had no idea you were so into this. This vid FTL jumped me into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross species romance? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, clip into each other, idiots. No, it's so cute. Oh, that's adorable. She likes the bad musical. I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. Kind of based, not even gonna lie. Yeah, invite everybody. Everybody come to my party. Yeah, fuck it. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could Sorry, I need to go take, I don't need, I need to take care of this baby. I'll be right back. Lucy is freaking out. Uh, I'm gonna go open the door for her so she can go outside. Since it's it's just me, somebody's gotta do it. I'll be right back. I'm I'm sorry.
right, the child has been neutralized. We're gonna have a rockin' party. Fuck quiet. This is for fun times. I think it's time to blow up some steam. Excellent, <laughs> Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. Yeah. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Festive? I got that stuck in my head now. True love's kiss. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Hey guys. Make yourself. I love you all. Thank you. What is this? Happy to be here, Shepherd. Love core this, cottage core that. What about the warp core? It's going to explode. <laughs> Fucking. I love O'Brien memes. Look, everyone loves it. Right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, but I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Golly jeepers. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm not like skipping to the next because I know this comes in segments. Hey, Shepard. Okay, this is fine. Me. Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I going to find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my abuelas huevos rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit. Even just for a night. I think we've all wanted a rest. That we have, Cortez. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Who's like us? Wah, wah, wah. Okay, good. We can talk to everybody. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. But fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it, James. Based. What a hero. I love him. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas Max. Always <laughs> Garris, I love you. You have no idea how hot this gets. Samara's like, I don't know, I don't care about money. Uh, I'm an ascetic. So, Shepard, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? <laughs> drive you all home? Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait, what? Yeah. Who? Shut up, Katsumi. You still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and <laughs> please build us the Atlas. Please! Doesn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. Von. Von Normandy. Von means one who has a weak black. <laughs> that Von is Dutch, and we don't talk about those people. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. And to falling in love. Love. Oh, I love her. Love. We're number one. It's nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. I'm yeah, this rules. This. this fucking rocks. This is the best thing in the world. I, I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Don't worry, trainer. The script says everyone loves you, so it's fine. Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried their limits. Also, Dr. Chuckles apologizes for not... Being what do you have? Some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. 
Oh, I've had some already. Sarah's Ice Brandy. I know all about that. That's great. I like that they remembered that. Um, I've been eating a lot of Asian food recently because I've been working on fried rice and making fried rice good. So I say get Asian food because all Asian food is just a vehicle for fried rice. <laughs> That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. <laughs> Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. I love you, Joker. <laughs> Shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. Nah, I know what I said. I know what I said. Yeah, I love you, Seth Green. You're the best. Be Seth Green's best role. <laughs> what a hero. Days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? Wah, wah. The only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very... Big, beautiful babes. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all <laughs> our guys. They got loose and killed all our guys. Quite a body. <laughs> At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad. But the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. We were, doing we were based. I don't know. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors... Big, I beautiful babe. Got loose and beautiful women all around me. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the old ball and chain. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? Oh, hell yes. I mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Yeah, yeah, you... I, I can't believe that they couldn't even make you say something interesting, Jacob. I like the people. You're a good guy. Hey, Commander. <laughs> he has no personality traits. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I try not to be too embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. All right, they're up here doing shit. What are you motherfuckers do? Yeah, here's the squad. We considered the future and respected the dead. Well, we don't do either of those things. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. <laughs> These motherfuckers are going to blow up my house. like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and... <laughs> Can't argue with that. Oh, I love them. <laughs> so who is strongest? You or the tank break? Oh no. Plenty curious myself. What I miss. The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand. Yeah, I don't think that... Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of water. I, honestly, Grunt, I like you, but I don't think you have... I don't think you have a chance, Grunt. I mean, Rex is a biotic. Yeah. Like, straight up. one way to settle this. No, 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 no. Now the party's starting. Another time, guys. What the hell? I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> in my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. I don't know, we're kind of badasses. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. 
What is the <laughs> Thanks, Javik. Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish <laughs> primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. <laughs> I, it, nothing would go over my head. Would catch it before it, before it went away. Shut up, Javik, you goober. Oh my god. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Mm, sorry, to take a drink here. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? Yeah, I get it, Rex. Oh, okay, and Glyph. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't notice. Oh. Oh, he's got a bow tie. That. Oh, that's what he meant by festive. Yo. Yo, get hype. Get hype for bow tie. This fucking rocks. I fucking love this TLC. <laughs> This is, the, this is the glyph content we crave. Give him a little bow tie. He's so fancy. Oh shit. I missed. Oh man, I missed dialogue because I ran past them too fast. Wow. This is quite the apartment. Seriously. You see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. I don't think you'd worry about breaking the furniture. I feel like you'd just break the furniture, Jack. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real. But you have no plans after Edie? For someone more human? <laughs> no. She's smart, she's funny, and she's into spaceships. You know what you want. I can respect that. <laughs> it's like, fuck off. Thought patrolled. Get out of my face. Okay, I think that's everybody. I don't think there are any more squad members or people or, or returning people. But yeah, this is why I did this so late is because you can get, you know, all the people you encountered across your journey to come here. Those are the priorities. Smart, funny, and like spaceships. Your guests appear to be getting <laughs> Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Yeah, fuck it. Party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At Let's go. Center, We're getting stupid. <laughs> All right, motherfuckers. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war? Pre-war, life-bearing worlds only. <laughs> uh, I'm going with Tarith. Garden World, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarith and raise you Azorius. Home of toxic spores and athletes' lung. Athletes' <laughs> lung? And Tuchanka supports life. I don't know if... Yeah, I don't know if I'd call that life. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. No. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. I like this. I like this party hypothetical. This fucking rocks. No worries. This is fun for us. So you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge. Practically right there. Yeah, the practically. The get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors. <laughs> Everyone's like... You know what this is? It's a man emergency. A man this emergency! Yeah! Target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? <laughs> Come on! Fuck you, Joker! Break your arm shooting a pistol! It'll be funny! Joker, I'm surprised at you. What about the collector attack? The bridge can get dangerous. 
Hey, they totally proved my point. If I'd fired off a shot then, I would have been mobbed. The real weapon is your brain. Take that away, you got nothing. Still would have been nice to have a little backup at the sushi bar. You know, there's a combat simulator on the Citadel. Hell no. Maybe a shooting range if we're not letting this go. Maybe. But not while I'm wasted. Or hungover. Hungover is the perfect time to train. Makes you angry at every loud noise. <laughs> I love you, What's Rex. That? You're on. If you're in condition to take me there, you can. But tonight, you gotta match me shot for shot. Damn. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I'll do my do my epic shepherd shepherd shuffle shepherd shuffle, and then you'll all be sorry. Oh, sweetheart, we never really talked. To yeah, her, Zaid, go really for it. Have a lot in common. Get her. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And. And well, and we're both good looking. I love you, Zaid. What a hero! Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art. He's getting gruffer as he gets more drunker. The beholder, hey Shepard. What do you think, Samara? Yeah, I'll do my safety dance. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest. I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend and the depth of the. Actually, no, it looks I cool. What I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes. Across like abstract the art can be good if it's good. Anything can be good if it's good. Individual, you bet your sweet Asari ass. <laughs> I love you, Ms. I love you, Zaid. Like, see, this is cool. You've got your foreground, like your orange colors, and you got, it looks like you're perched, like looking down at something through maybe a cracked mask. I don't know, it looks cool. Abstract art can be good if it's good. Anything can be good if it's good. Oh shit, I think I accidentally glitched out their dialogue by entering their field of view i here here's what happened just now i did this and i got caught on this thing and they triggered and untriggered their dialogue that's fucked up ladies i see we've all gotten enough to drink relax shepherd i'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time smear the wall possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut uh huh. My hair and I have been fighting brutes and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. <laughs> yeah, friends. Be friends. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics. Forceful personalities, confident in their sex. Get wrecked. You are shitting me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. <laughs> I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. Yeah, they hate it. No ice. They hate it. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. I don't think that's what friendship is. When I said support friendship, I didn't really think that's what I was getting myself into. I think this I think they have a skewed skewed perception of what friendship means. Anyway, this party rules. What's up, idiots? Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. <laughs> what are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. What I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Bio yeah, do a pose! The peak 
physical form that you see before it. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. I mean it. Check me out. I'm not sure if I can tell just by looking. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. <laughs> Jacob's just like, yeah, I'm here also. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, loco. You have to go with me on this one. No, I don't. Biotics I'm a biotic. But unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. I don't think the Reapers... Yeah, really fuck is. off. A person can improve their physique, but biotics... They are what they are. He's joking. Right, James? I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. <laughs> Come on, Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact... <laughs> what a hero! Just hush and do some sit up. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> oh, goddess. <laughs> Obviously, I support biotics. We're based. We'll throw you around with our brain lasers. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. Yeah, dark, dark energy. energy. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Ashley, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Ashes, I was out closer. I think I can make that happen. Okay then. Okay, yeah, they're more drinks, snacks. Help yourselves. They're just over here doing their own little thing. Liara is very upset. This is like the most charming that Mass Effect has ever been. How is it this good? Oh, here's our tech people. You can ask me anything, Evie. Can you believe me to be a simple VI? Oh no. About my voice. Oh no. Should I find someone else to be? No, no, no. I wanted to ask you about. Um, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive core? Uh, <laughs> no. Could you? Could you? I understand why you find my voice sexually attractive? Oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said. Exactly. That's a bad. That's not a good option. Would you like me to play back? Yeah, I was gonna say Edie. Edie has complete one for one recordings. Stop helping. <laughs> that's a bad decision. What's up, idiots? What's wrong, you two? I am asking specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheat, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? I love cheese. He wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. <laughs> there's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, should be I was basil. Just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and. Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. <laughs> really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. I love you Tally. She's doing her best. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal. Yeah, I was gonna say people but pupil dilation is like the best way to go on that. Fair is fair, trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. Yeah, I mean, that's completely reasonable. Like, we're talking people. ...sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice. <laughs> it just gets worse! Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. 
Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Uh -huh. uh, that was not loud. Never mind. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. Okay, this is an incredible conversation. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. I like that it tells that it you know you, you saw that subtle like glyph uh glyph thing to let me know that I completed all the dialogue that's very helpful. Wait, I'm going to see if I can get talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Almost a thousand years worth. Yeah, I want to hear what they have to say. And then I could tell you about my Jesse. That's the name of his gun, right? Jesse. That's his gun. That's his shitty gun. Did you and Jesse have children? Oh, no. Jesse was my rifle. Yeah. But also my best friend. You know, Zaid, there's nothing wrong with silence between two friends. Oh, got it. Oh, got it. He's losing it. He's going nuts. I hate to say it, but Cerberus was wrong about you. Aww. You're still violent and maladjusted. But the elusive man never would have predicted you'd bond with the Grissom Academy kids. You are growing, despite everything Cerberus did to you. I find it extremely admirable. Wow. Thanks. I still really hate you, but you have fantastic tits. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, right. Jack. I can live with that. That's lovely. You're in for a rough time, Moreau. Vega and I are neck and neck when it comes to holding liquor. Oh, yeah? Here we go. Shot one. Oh, what the hell is that? It tastes like the north end of a southbound goat. Bad move, Cortez. He wanted the duel, and he also picked the weapon. Yeah, that's just a bad move. Three parts horse choker and one part antiseptic mouthwash. even a drink. And yet, here are our second shots. And this yet, now this is all over. I'm gonna find a gun and let out a few rounds off. I am sober enough. I will join you. Have fun. Try not to kill the neighbors. Cortez, <sighs> give me your damn horse choker. Mother of God, you are going nowhere near the shooting range. Just make it stop. <laughs> yeah, I think we're done here. King, king shit, fucking destroyed them. I'm pissed, but I'm not gonna let it ruin the party. Or should I say, we are not. Right, Williams? Whoa, leave me out of this, hombre. Hombre. Jacob. <laughs> well, that was mortifying. Tell me about it. You need not be embarrassed. Sexual attraction. <laughs> Edie, Edie is relentless. Orientation is interesting synthetics. We can, we can stop talking about this whenever you like. I practically poisoned myself with cheese trying to change the subject. If you are interested, I have a list of extra... Oh no, Edie, no! Organics and synthetics. No, 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 no. Edie, that's a bridge too far. No! Oh, okay, sure. Okay, fine. I'm drunk enough for this. This is deranged. I also like that they're that everyone's still talking in the background. So what were your fighters like? Much more compact than any I've seen in this cycle. A pilot was given his fighter on completion of their training. It remained his to use and maintain. To be buried in your ship was an honor. It showed true skill and workmanship. Huh. Kind of makes me tear up a little. Kind of makes me wonder how they could afford to lose a perfectly good fighter. Huh. All right, Glyph. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Dancing, yeah. Turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin. Yeah, bounce and spin. This fucking rocks. 
I love this. God, I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to go back to the normal game again. Yes, yeah, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's gonna take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. Uh huh. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. <laughs> well, I will. <laughs> Shut up, Joker. Shut up. <laughs> He's losing it. He can't withstand the power of the shepherd shuffle. He's driven lesser men to madness. Seriously though, don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with him. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Support dancing. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. Yeah, look at her go. She does the shepherd shuffle. They're doing great together. Dancing during wartime waste precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty Look at your fucking stretched out neck, Rex. It's so good. What's going on over here? Shepard! Found something to shoot. Yeah, shooting! It's okay. We're all professionals here. Some of us with no depth perception, but it's fine. Depth perception. Who needs it? Happens at Krogan parties all the time. And yet I'm still not confident. Yeah. Probably best I walk away now. As you wish. I, they're bonding. Yeah, dancing. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time. Too dangerous. We'd like Look at his little fire. wobbling. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. <laughs> the way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Atari. Yeah, you, they've got their. We've got our fucking. I sip over until I found company, dog leg. Till then, watch and learn. What is it? Which one is did? One's plantigrade and one's digitigrade. Um, I think we're plantigrade, and Corians and Turians are digitigrade. But I forget. Yeah, Shepherd Shuffle. <laughs> Everyone loves me. I'm the best. Everyone loves me. I'm the best. It's been like this. You learn to love it. It's very enthusiastic. Yeah. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. <laughs> Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose. Look at a little now. point. He does a little you point. For your loyalty and support. This is so based. This is incredible. God, this is. I'm glad we're doing this with the finale because this really is the best way to see off Mass Effect. Could, not. could you? Could you? Balcony without breaking a sweat. Yeah, he's thinking well, about Caden. But do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously. Yeah, they're gonna fuck this kid up. Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I can feel that way on a whim. 
Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Wah, wah. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. No, turn him upside down. Upside down. Ah. Come on, let's dance. Look at him go. They're dancing. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Yeah, it is perfect. Hey, Shepard. Nothing else to say. Hmm. Why does she have hmm. repeating? Di Why doesn't her dialogue box go away? That's weird. Just wait. Look. <laughs> oh, I'm licking. Believe me. Oh. Look, I think you're beautiful and kick ass. I'm sneaking. I'm sneaking and peeking. Thanks. That's sweet. I think you're kind of sweet. Your Man. are amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm oh my god. Hey you two, what's up? Nothing. Nothing. No, Shepard, we're fine. <laughs> Lieutenant, did you just giggle? <laughs> I did not just giggle. I'm just, you know, I. <clears throat> Shepard, uh, can we help you with anything? You you kids have fun. Looks like you guys are having fun. Sorry to interrupt. I should probably go check on Clint or something. See you later, Shepard. See you later. <laughs> Man, we didn't even get to go in the hot tub. That's messed up. Yeah, this really is. This is. Shut up. What was that? I don't need to hear that. I don't need to hear that it shit. Gotta work it out somehow. It does. I'm usually pretty crap at this. This and baking. Baking? Figure it out. I know what you mean. <laughs> baking. Is that a fertility joke? Bun in the oven. She can't have children. I begin to understand why these celebrations exist. I approve. What a hero. I love you, Javik. I'm so glad you're in this game. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. I love that all that Joker can do is the Shepherd Shuffle. He's too broken to do anything else. Really? You have them all memorized? 67. Holmium. Very reactive. Very magnetic. Torian parties almost never end with someone reciting the elements. <laughs> 68 erbium atomic weight 167 and change nice my turn 69 <laughs> in your dreams what? Womp womp. ah tell tally doesn't get it she's, she's just she's a human thing thulium, in case anyone cared Turians have trace amounts in our skin protects us from solar radiation Way to go, Garrus. Way to go, Garrus. Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Hasn't the art always been so blue? Mm, yes. No? Anyway, I think it's time for a group photo. Kind of. Excellent. Kind of. Your dancing closely resembles Shepard's. Oh, low blow. Ha ha ha. Hey, everyone, come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. Man, if Mass Effect 4 is half as good as this DLC, it'll be an 8 out of 10. <laughs> it'll be really good. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Oh, I couldn't find Grunt. This last where was Grunt? Whatever. Probably barfing. 
He's a baby. Grunt's only baby. As as we know. Oh, what a night. But look who's here. <laughs> Hila, I'm going to be so sick. Totally worth it. I'll let you know. Ugh. Who put my suit back on? The buckles are all askew. Askew. And when did I get an Omni tattoo? Let's see if anyone else is up. No. Good morning, everyone. Look at these fucking all these Doseki bottles. What is this data pad? Okay, well, new mission on Tuchanka could end things. Made preparations. Aww, we got more Morden singing. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. Education. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Varen. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instincts. <laughs> no. Just going limp, struggling, counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. See children, key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis, attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Harry the pie jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? I love you, Morden. Lysine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. They all are aliphatic, so you will not see a ring. The lone human amino acid with one is proline. From protein we are formed. Uh, glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. This is probably actually that I bet that would be super effective at teaching whatever the hell those are. Just you know, just give you give you a little more actual information. I guess there's one more, huh? We'll exhaust these. <laughs> Asari says Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. Asari very grateful. This rules! <laughs> In bed. My M98 in other room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose end left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, a sorry had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. This this rocks. Morden, your prose is excellent. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. In more ways than one. God damn it. Fucking. Through many dangers, toils, and snares. I 
I have already come with grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Amazing Grace. Oh, I love that. Okay, that's that's it. That's it. That's enough of that. That it's repeating. I can't believe they got Morden to sing Amazing Grace. Well, that's just beautiful. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying by the goddess By the goddess Was someone making tea? I could use some tea Okay The apartment seems so quiet now The apartment seems so quiet now Good thing this place has extra bathrooms <laughs> It takes forever to do her hair You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to <laughs> hey, Samara. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Huh. Well, all right then. Hey, Tally, you doing all right, bud? I am going to die. know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night do i have a tattoo i remember something about a tattoo don't get me wrong great party but uh, yeah Ugh. i'll just be here right here forever forever uh, No, this is great. This is like this is the fi this should be the finale. Everyone rides off into the sunset and we're done. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. More or less, indeed. Mmm, good tea. Mmm. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs. Trainer, Esteban, eggs. Joker, where is that guy? Ash, James, re on, James recovers Rex, like Rex, a champ. Buddy. Eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javid, man, you gotta try my eggs. Yeah, I keep saying Anybody eggs. Miranda. Miranda. Shepard? Eggs? Shepard? Shepard? Mm, morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not... Not so loud. Hey. I think I broke my head on something last night. I think that was Rex. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. <laughs> oh, thank God. Shepherd. Anybody but Ah, hi, trainer. So, last night, I didn't... do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Uh-huh. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was overserved. Uh-huh. Hey. All right, I'm I'm glad you had fun. Where is everyone else? I need to talk to everyone. We have to exhaust the dialogue. Oh, yeah, sit up, motherfucker. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? I feel fantastic. And I never felt as good as how I do right now. Shepard. Hey, you look nice. Like biotic pull-ups, Jack, with your not holding on to the 
bang and all. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. I don't know if that's how that works, but okay. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. Based. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Hey. All right, that's about it. That's all I'm going to get out of you. What's up over here, guys? How's it going? Mm, morning, Shepard. I hope you slept well. Oh, you bet I did, buddy. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. <laughs> what a night. Wish it never ended. I also wish it never ended. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. <laughs> By the way, they're all so charming. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. Dextro I shit. You three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? That's pretty fair. Shepard. Hi, Rex. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. <laughs> uh, 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 Look at us. And this beautiful image. Lovingly re-rendered, apparently. I don't I don't see any horrible JPEG artifacts. Maybe a little bit, but it's mostly aliasing. Man, what a video game. Hey Commander. Hell of a night. Did you have fun, Joker? I love you. Just roll up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, everyone could just not talk so loudly. That would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Oh, still fun though. <laughs> Commander. All right. I think that's everybody. This is fun. Man, now this is a send off. Oh, hi, Edie. Last night to complain about the noise, I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Thanks, Edie. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Yeah. All right. Time to get out of here. Fucking finish this game. We'll see how that goes. I'll try and blow through it really fast. I'm sure I won't have any problem. Return to Normandy indeed. I think I've done everything. I don't think there's anything else that I can even do. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Seems that way. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave, too? <laughs> I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Ah. <sighs> well. That was fun. It's a shame that it has to end. <laughs> I didn't think an apology DLC could be this good, I'm gonna be real. We threw one hell of a party. Probably the last. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. no matter what happens, you'll find a way to do what's right for all of us. Serving on a human ship. I never would have guessed. And mm -hmm. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It's the best we're sorry I've ever seen. Like I mentioned before, this came out like a year after the game had released. It was them proving that they could still make a video game and that EA ruined it on purpose. So just think about this. 
If if Mass Effect was all as good as this, Mass Effect would be fucking immaculate. 